me, James Sweeney, and this is a Friday afternoon, and I'm here in the booth overlooking the New York Stock Exchange, and I am in a great mood. The New York Mets sweeping the Phillies in four games and in sole possession of first place in the NLE. The Dudley boys back in the WWE, and the weather outside is delightful, and the markets, they're far from frightful, and it's a Friday, and you know what that means here at ModernWallStreet.com. We're getting the weekend started early, so it's soon to be 4 o'clock. Floor personnel, they're watching the clock, and it's time to have a drink right now because it's a special early Friday happy hour here in New York City. U.S. stocks trading in an hour range this Friday afternoon on this, the final trading session of a very volatile trading week as investors take in economic reports. And data, that's where we first begin as the final read on August consumer confidence from the University of Michigan coming in at 91.9. That's slightly lower than the initial print and also slightly lower than July's figure. And that's not all, as data showed, an increase of 0.4% in personal income and an increase of 0.3% in consumer spending. Now you team that with crude oil futures for October delivery up about $1.63 to $44.18 a barrel over at the New York Mercantile Exchange. Gold futures rising just under $14 to $11.36.30 a troy ounce. The U.S. dollar holding mildly higher with the euro near $1.12. And the benchmark Shanghai Composite ending 4.8% higher on the session after an exceptionally volatile week for Chinese stocks. Then you have yourself a session right behind me here at the New York Stock Exchange where eight stocks have advanced for every seven decliners. Let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to not just close out the session, but the week as well. And on the corporate front, early in the morning, a Charles Schwab spokesman said the brokerage firm's online training platforms are temporarily unavailable. Now, the system was restored around the market open. That's around 9.30 for those of you that don't know. And if you want more corporate news, check out the earlier Market Movers report with myself on this Friday. And with that stated, I have to say, enjoy the weekend. It's going to be beautiful. Don't know if it's the last weekend of summer, but it kind of feels like it. And I'll see you guys all on Monday. For ModernWallStreet.com. I'm James Sweeney.